Hey everybody, so this is a short video on how to install the NVIDIA drivers on Linux. We're going to be using Ubuntu here in this case, so I'm just going to dive in. First thing that you're going to do is after you've updated everything, okay, you make sure that you know, your, your system is up to date, just in case, just type here software update, you run the thing here, and you make sure that you have the, you know, the latest updates and packages for everything. Once you finish this, then what you're going to do is you're going to go to Google and you're going to search for NVIDIA PPA. Well, I'm not going to run this one right now, but just to give you an idea. Imagine you're finished and you type NVIDIA PPA. Okay. Uh, once you find this specific page, launchpad.net, there's a specific NVIDIA um, page where it gives you instructions how to tell your Ubuntu to grab the latest or almost the latest drivers for it. So you just run this. You don't need to run this, okay? If you have Ubuntu something around Ubuntu 18.04 or and up, you only run this and that's it. Once you execute this, it will automatically do this one too, okay? You execute this in the console. So you just copy that. Uh, you can right click here on the desktop and you open in terminal and boom, you can, you can paste that thing there and you're done. Execute, press enter, put your password, whatnot, whatever. And then once you're finished, what you do is the following. You type app install NVIDIA driver. And at this moment, it's 525. And in the coming weeks or week, you're going to see a 530 in there. Okay. Um, but it's 525 for the latest one. Once you install that, that's actually going to install a bunch of other packages related to it. Because this is a proprietary uh, driver, you got to reboot. It's the same as on Windows, okay? You got to reboot because it's a proprietary. You reboot the computer and you should be able to have your uh, NVIDIA settings there. Okay, so you just type NVIDIA and you get this thing here. Okay. Um, if you happen to have an issue saving, like if you change the settings here and you try to save, Okay, you put your password there and it gives you an issue. What you do is the following. You open your terminal and you type the following. This sudo chmod, that's just to give the user uh, executable permissions for this specific file. Once you give that permissions, then you should be able to save the configuration file properly, okay? If you have multiple video cards, in theory, up to now, you should be able to see them here. Okay, so you're going to see GPU 0, something, GPU 1, something, GPU 2, etc. I've seen up to 3. Um, in, I mean, not the 4090, but all ones. So with that said, at this point, you finished. You have the NVIDIA drivers installed, and that's it. That's it. Now, let's jump into the particular issues that people uh, have with NVIDIA. If you're in, and that's why I'm, I'm also going to be sharing this this link here. If you have a laptop and it uses Primus, mean, meaning you can you can jump from an AMD GPU or an Intel GPU to the NVIDIA GPU, and, and you know, and vice versa, then there's some settings here that you gotta run um, or or that you gotta be um, have knowledge about. Okay, so here you have using the NVIDIA driver with Optimus laptops, configuring a notebook. You follow, basically just follow the steps that are here. And they actually try to guide you uh, in a, in a, with the less amount of steps. Let's put it like that. For the ones that want to show, and I'm just going to be jumping to several of the points that people have asked me. Here's one where you want to configure multiple uh, display devices on one screen. So let's say that you have two screens or three screen, and you want to show them as one, this is what you would do. Just follow through the steps here. Uh, and you can see you want step by step. Obviously, you got to make sure that the hertz, the refresh rate uh, on them, they got to be more or less the same, OK? Uh, and a couple other notes that you got to take in, into account in regards to that. So that when the X server, and this is for the X server, meaning SOAR, not Wayland, but SOAR. Um, it kicks in, it will think that you only have one screen. So that's that's one of the cases. Cinerama, 
you can see that it handles that so it binds all screens into one so that x thinks it's it's one single one and that also includes the possibly spanning of multiple gpus meaning it uses all gpus to do from one gpu to multiple gpus to 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 do that feature to render one one screen okay which is by, by the way the opposite of twin view which is another thing that uh, does a completely different thing there um here's well here, this is just for the configuration configure multiple screens on one car that's just you connecting multiple ones typically you just connect the display port hdmi vga whatever things you have there if you connect multiple devices up to now your nvidia uh, device should be able to handle that right now i have another monitor if i literally connect it right now it will automatically show here okay i i don't know if it's gonna mess up the the recording here but let's let me try it give me just one second so i can find the cable okay i hope we didn't mess the the recording let me put this back to 1080 1080 there there we go okay so you can see that i was able to you know you just connect it and i can install more up to how many slots of um you know devices they can input into the into the cart which is i think it's like four or something like that but here you can see i can actually drag it uh to the sides you're not seeing on the screen because it's only recording this screen but i can drag it to the side and and because this is on the right side, if I drag it through here to the other one, then it shows on the other screen. So now I'm handling two screens. If I do the opposite, you know, I put it like that, then same, you know, same thing. You're basically positioning the, the screens. And they're going to start, oh, well, this is what I, the other thing. So because it, the GPU, the only GPU that I have, the, the 49, it detected the two devices, then it shows them here. Okay, you can see that the one that I'm, we're using right now is the display port. And the new one that got connected, it's on the HDMI zero position on the card. So anyway, that's something to take into consideration when you're connecting multiple devices. I can save it, boop, but I don't want to save it because the other monitor is actually using another computer. Um, so yeah, you got that there. This is for configuring Sly or multiple uh, GPUs. Typically, the recommendation is to have them to be the same one. Okay, some NVIDIA cards can actually play together if they're different, but the recommendation is for them to be the same. So you can see here, uh, enabling multi GPU, you run this in the console. If I had another one, I would actually run this here and will actually create this sword file, the X or file that gets loaded when we're using sword. How do we force? Ubuntu, in the case that you're not using SOAR, to use SOAR. So you open the console, okay? You do nano, and we go to, actually, we go to GD, GDM3, which is GNOME Desktop Manager 3, and then you edit the custom.com file. And you just comment this out, like this by default comes like this. You comment this out, meaning you put it like this, and you're basically telling the, system, the, the gnome, hey, I don't want to use Wayland. Wayland enable, false. And they will automatically use SOAR uh, for it. I don't know because I, have, I don't have another 4090 and also the motherboard doesn't support another 4090. I mean, another video card. If this works nicely in Wayland, that's something that anybody that's using multiple cards will tell me. But here are the steps that I do remember that i follow on a really old driver we're not talking the 500 series or 400 we're talking something like the 300 i believe something around the 300 and this worked for two 1080s and uh, i did it to a friend he had uh two in the, in the 2000 series he had three sorry he had three cards there and that, that worked, this basically worked nicely. And when you went to, to the NVIDIA series, you were able to see, well, you were able to see them all like that. It's just that the thing is that uh, this would show 
open and the other ones you will see them down here the GPU zero and blah 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 um, okay so I hope this video helps everybody in regards to the default if you have one car you only need to do the PPA you install that baby there reboot you're done if you want to do Sly Cinerama you want to uh, connect uh, multiple um, screens to the same card you can see that they basically you connect them and they just work um, up to well in my case up to four but if you want to do Sly which is a, the multiple GPUs then that's where um, I recommend following this guideline especially because I've seen I would say like four times the the steps get get smaller so you have to do less things in every new version or every x amount of versions of nvidia they make it really easy for you to manage it and also the documentation actually gets updated so you can actually go back to a specific version here you can see the 525.89.02 that i literally got by simply going to nvidia settings and just looking at this i copy that there put it here I press enter voila we got the baby if you want to, uh, the, the page that I'm about to give you is going to be the index.html, which is the main one that has the glossary here, the table of contents, and you can go through everything here. Okay. There is, however, one thing that I'm missing. Um, there was a way of making laptops, the uh, performance in the laptops better, and I can't find it here. Mm. Dynamic boost, yeah, dynamic boost. That's for if you have a laptop, okay? If you have a laptop, then this is also recommended, okay? So it, it helps with power, but it also helps with the performance of it. Here you can see uh, to which device it applies, and pure or new, uh, newer GPUs, Intel Comet Lake, or newer Intel chipsets, or even AMD Rembrandt and up, okay? And well, obviously the laptop needs to support, so support that here. Uh, lastly, for performance reasons, for performance, you want to get the best performance out of the car. So do know that the latest drivers up to a certain, you know, version, they started adding, um, mitigations. Okay. For security here, you can see them Nvidia Spectre V2 mitigation. I don't think that's the only one, but, uh, they actually show this here. If you put it in the kernel and what they're talking there is this, so you got to sudo nano etc default group okay and there's they're talking about you know adding adding specter v2 off here but it's better if you actually put mitigations off and that's it because that that includes this one too in this way it affects the gpu and cpu at the same time once you've done this then you do sudo update group okay and just reboot and you're done. You should be getting, depending on the car, you should be getting, well, the car and the CPU, you should be getting something around 10, 15% more performance in general. Okay. So hope this video helps. Big hugs to everybody and hope you enjoy your NVIDIA car. Bye.